Okay, we're driving. Gerald, say hi. Hi there. You're driving the 1990 right. Nissan Pulsar, all-wheel drive. And I, I feel like I'm driving. I'm waiting for Gary to hit the brakes. <laughs> this is wicked weird, man. I guess you've done this turn a million times. Horsepower is what? Which somewhere between 235 and 260. It's insane. Oh yeah, she got the guts. <laughs> Pardon? She got guts. She's very tight. By the way, that was a second gear roll on. That's why she was tight. I just gotta get Gerald to take some of his bikes out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. A little rubbing in the back or something, eh? No, I'll do some spare parts. Oh, you got junk back the there. Back. Well, we hope the brakes are good coming down. Actually, they aren't. <laughs> we depend on the car in front of us. The thing I always like about standards is it keeps you busy. You roll your way across town. Uh, your mind doesn't wander with a, sta a standard too much. So you said sliding up here again? Yeah. It warms up pretty quick. Yeah. So your son's taking it to is it Edmonton, yeah? He says he is. Yeah. I want to wait until the spring when he's got more money. He lives right in the city? Yeah. yeah. 118th in Jasper. See I won't take my Camaro up here because I don't like my brakes. Soft or they? Uh... Yeah, they're they're soft. Yeah, but not like old Camaros are any good anyway. They're brakes unless you do that conversion, right? Upgrade to uh, upgrade to, to disc. Yeah, which you know, if I oh, keep yeah, it, this is what they've done. That's where it's sliding. Oh. And look, they've even put up an outhouse. Oh yeah, that'll be used. Second, your cameras in the way of the all the <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to this. All the boozers will be stopping there for a pee pee. And we live right down there, right down there. Pardon? We live right down there, or down there. There's a there's a picture online. What direction is it? It's from that road going like this way over. It could have been right here. And yeah. there's a UFO like sitting like right there. It's online somewhere. I've seen it. A UFO? Yeah, your typical freaking saucer thing. And it's sitting right there. Like right there. Over over that hill. Over Mr. Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> it's like some guy. And the, the guy does a little explanation that he was. Uh, he couldn't stop. But he took the pictures of his driving because he had, you know, he's a business guy, dude, and he was just driving through or something like that. 
and he couldn't stop, so he just took a pic one picture as he was uh, driving by. Did he have the window up? I think he pulled the window down because it looks it looks pretty pretty good. I think if you just put uh, in the Google search uh, Peace River, Alberta UFO, and I think it'll show the picture. I'll look for it. I seen a pretty nice drone. Uh, me and the boys who were in the morning we were driving downtown. I think it was a Saturday, and uh, seen a pretty huge drone um, going over on the right side of our street on 103rd. Really? And it was about a little higher than a house, but it was as big as this car. And it, I've, I've never seen a drone like it before because it was the wings on it were perfectly lined flat. And the middle of it was like uh, like a hat, like a top hat, like, yeah. but round at the top. <coughs> and uh, one of the boys spotted it first, and then then I saw it, and then went by the trees there, and then I saw it again. And it was I've never seen a drone like it. It was pretty cool. I can't see how it could fly, being a drone anyway, but because uh, the two wings on each side were so thin, they looked almost paper thin. It was totally black. What is it? Could it hover and do stuff like that? It just went, it just, it just coasted straight across the trees there, okay. a little above the trees. But it was so big, you know, was, at first you thought, ah, you know, cool little drone. There's a couple of guys do RC stuff in here. Is that right? That's yeah. probably what it was. But it was big. Is there laws to flying drones around here now? Uh, Canada? yeah. Uh, I know for the guys that fly them commercially, the real estate guys, they like to take drone pictures of yeah, the yeah. property. Yeah, yeah. And they put that drone up right away, take you know, and right away take the picture, and they're down because if somebody phones in a complaint, uh, it's an unpiloted aircraft. Oh, really? And the Department of Federal DOC regulations. Is that in the height restriction or any drone? Uh, because the kid, I got the like, kids. Like, like, you, I think the toy drones. I yeah. don't think anybody's gonna bother. But when you have like a three foot or four foot industrial type yeah, drone, yeah, yeah, and you fly over somebody's house, it's you know if you crash it into the house and the house burns down, uh, you can. It's yeah, problem. they're, they're pretty, quite large, eh? Yeah, they can do a lot of damage. lights. I got a little tire on the front. Hey, it's got an indicator for that? Yeah. That's pretty good for the back in the day, eh? This this was in 1990. This was uh, one of 4,000 cars made. It was so that the jet, it's a rally car, all-wheel drive, turbocharged, and the Japanese made 4,000 of them so they could have a production rally car. And there's a lot of these in Australia. 4,000, but there's not very many else in the world. They're, they're extremely rare. So parts are hard? Uh, okay. Parts are standard Nissan parts. Well, that's good. Right now. The brakes are standard production Nissan brakes. The, 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 the calipers and the discs and all that stuff. Yeah, it's all standard. You just have to, you just have to find the changeover number. The windshield, there's another Nissan windshield fits it, but I've yet to figure out which one. I know. And the last surviving windshield for this car in Canada, I, I had it ordered and it was smashed in shipment. Oh my. Yeah. Which and is uh, common as well. Like Whelan at All West Glass, he ordered it in and when he got it, it came in bits and pieces. Anyway, I'm gonna right, man. shut it off. I'm gonna take a quick look Where's around. First ride, eh? Yeah, I've never driven a in a right hand drive. Don't you have two of these? Do you have two? Pardon? You don't have two of these, no. 
What's the other car you have? No. You have another little one though. Yeah, we first had a 90 Skyline. That thing was absolutely brutal. It, when, when, but the car he was done with it, he had over 600 horsepower. Because he couldn't keep it on the road. Huh. That's it for the video. Car talk. Bye-bye.